Hey, what's up, YouTube? Gary with Thick Skinned RC, back to talk about the IFS Gen 7. Um, I know we're way behind schedule on that one. I was hoping initially it would just take a couple months to finish up. But uh, here we are next year, and we've actually made some pretty good progress on it, though. I have been through, geez, I don't know, probably 12, 13 different iterations of the front diff mount. And I'm finally happy with where it's at now. Um, don't have issues with it rubbing on the steering slide anymore. Um, none of the links, uh, none of the mounts, nothing is rubbing where it shouldn't be um, when I compress the suspension. So all in all, things are looking pretty good. Um, I need to finish the servo mount for it and then finish the belly pan. Um, that really should be about it. So once I get the servo mount, completed, it'll essentially be drivable. Um, I won't be bashing it, it won't be, be you know, taking it hard on the trails or anything um, without any support on the bottom. But it's getting really close. <laughs> I'm getting kind of excited for it. So um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look, see where we're at. Now she's sitting right now. And y'all don't really care about the body, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and look at the good stuff. So as I mentioned in the previous video, the front diff mount um, was just not going to work the way I had it. So as I mentioned, I went ahead and ditched using any of the holes in the frame back here, which essentially cleared up a lot more room inside the frame rails for stuff to go back and forth. Um, here's the servo, obviously, and the steering link. And I get 90% full travel left and right. Um, I don't know if we can see it here, if y'all are familiar with how the Viterra steering works, but essentially this just slides back and forth. Um, this part of the servo horn does hit the frame and you lose a millimeter or two of travel to this side. Going to the opposite side, it's 99% full travel. Uh, well, probably a little less, less, but it's almost full travel of the steering. So the... The way these shock towers are on the frame just make it to where I can't have everything how I want. Now ideally this would be sitting above the frame and the frame rails would be you know kind of in between these but the, the, the way this is it's just not going to work that way. So, um, so as of right now the servo is temporarily mounted. I've literally just drove two screws into the, uh, into the 3D printed diff, house, diff mount. Um, got a couple of notes here. I'm going to thicken this and add a couple little cross supports just to make it look better. Um, just aesthetics. This is where the servo mount is going to start um, and where it'll actually, some plastic will come up to here and be some holes there. So the servo is actually going to mount up high. Um, not ideal, I know, for center of gravity, but it's the spot that'll be the easiest and most efficient to put it in now to get this thing to a roller status. And I really, I, I don't think it's gonna be problematic, but we'll find out once I get it in there and get the servo powered up and, and you know, try to make a couple of runs. Um, so once the servo is in its final position, the only thing left is really the belly pan. Um, I haven't made any more progress on it. Like I said, I basically just have a flat plate that goes from here up to the diff mounts here. Um, but uh, I've got to shape it and all that stuff. And that'll be what gives us all the support on the bottom. So, so there it is. Uh, another quick little update on the Gen 7 IFS project. We are still progressing. And I'm hoping to have another update here in the next week. Uh, two tops. I, I actually did start uh, working on this guy here. I need to get the print done. Um, so yeah, we're, we're cruising along. Another week, two weeks tops. Um, I'll have another update here, and hopefully, pending this be working, it'll actually be drivable at that point. So getting close, guys. Um, appreciate everybody's patience. Appreciate everybody watching. And as always, check us out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and like and subscribe if you haven't. Y'all have a good one. All right, everyone. So I figured I'd go ahead and throw in um, a little view of the... Uh, the diff mount here um, since it's mounted in the chassis now I didn't really feel like taking it all apart and uh, putting it all back together again so um, what I can do is like I'm doing here show you kind of show you guys what it looks like in the, uh, the actual software here um, so the front of the car is uh, up here and back of the truck back here so these two holes here sit in the frame rails uh, that's actually what holds it there 
Now you'll notice I don't actually have the screw pattern in here. Um, I actually mounted it in the frame and then drilled the holes through for the test. Um, that'll make it a lot easier for me to get the measurements that I need. So I'm still going to add the holes in here. Um, but I can go ahead and flip it upside down so you can see what it looks like on the bottom. Um, so this is actually what it looks like on the bottom and all these little cuts and indents and everything these are all little things I've had to make to clearance it and move stuff around um, but so this is the back of the diff housing here where the actual input shaft is um, so these little ridges were everything uh, the little steps I had to do to make sure there was clearance for everything um, got all this gutted out here so that the A arms um, or not the A arms sorry the upper link can move in up and down so so yeah, there it is. Um, slap a different color on there, make it a little bit easier to see. But uh, that's where it is right now. So what I'm going to be doing is throwing a uh, servo mount. Flip that back over. So the servo mount is going to sit basically right here, uh, where the little hand's moving around. So it's just going to extend back so the servo will hang over a bit um, probably half the servo is hanging off so I'm going to extend here and down as well so this is going to become bigger I can't put a plate here because that will get in the way of the steering so um, so yeah anyways that that'll be knocked out next I got it started in another file um, it uh, isn't presentable right now so <laughs> I'll just show you this design here but uh, yeah, that's where it is. And all the magic is happening in 3D Builder as well, which is uh, basically like the Microsoft Paint of the <laughs> CAD world, I guess you could say so. But uh, it's definitely workable, it's doable. I mean, you can come up with you know good, decent looking parts and it's all free software with Windows 10, so. All right, well that's all, y'all have a good one.